everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a testing and first impressions of No Cosmetics. They're a brand that is sold in mainly Superdrug and I think you can get it in a lot of Oliver Bonus stores but I've never seen it so don't swear me to that. But they uh, very kindly sent me most of their collection apart from one project but I don't think that's available in the UK. So these are them, well that's two of them. I've got three more down here. So I thought I'd do a first impressions for you and so see the how first one I thought I'd try is a No Thin Lips, which is a lip plumper. I've never tried a plumper before, so I'm so excited to see how this turns out and if it actually works. I mean, my lips are they're quite thin, like sort of at this side. So if it plumps them up just a bit, a little bit on that side, then I'll be happy. So let's try this, see how it goes. Oh. It feels quite like a lip gloss but not sticky, which is quite good because I hate sticky ones. Hmm, that actually feels quite nice. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It has like a nice little like shine to it. So far I can't feel any difference. So I don't actually know how long it takes to work hmm I'm not sure but it's supposed to make lips appear fuller so we'll see how that one goes we'll have to leave that for a little bit see how it goes and I'll keep updating as we go through the next one is no bold brows as you can see my brows are so thin at the minute because I don't have anything on and this is actually a pencil I normally use powder because I just find that fills my brows better and it says this is a universal but it, it looks quite dark so I don't know, we'll see how this goes like I said I never use pencils I find them so hard to use never really goes right oh, not a lot seems to be coming out oh look I can feel the lips now that feels so weird. <laughs> oh, there we go. Colour's coming out a bit. These lips are making my eyes water. I feel like I'm dribbling as well. Sorry about that, but... <laughs> oh, it's like tingling now. I'm like, this area? Oh, it feels so weird. They don't look any different yet though, so I'll, I'll leave it a bit longer, but keep doing the brows. Oh, I've gone wrong. You know what, I think that's the best I'm going to get, that one. Not very easy. But I like the colour. The colour seems to be actually quite nice. And I thought it looked quite dark. But I think if you press harder, you get more of a darker colour. So if you've got light brows, like, just use it very lightly. But it actually seems to be coming out alright, the colour. I just don't think I'm very good at pencils, to be honest. I'm probably doing it completely wrong. So... If any make plus to watch it, I'm sorry. I'm not very good. I really don't like that one. <laughs> How bad do they look? Oh no. What should I do? <laughs> right, I'll try and brush through them because it comes with a little brush as well. So I'll try that and see if we can brush through. Oh, that's slightly better for that one. It's this one that's gone so wrong. I mean, this is my bad one anyway. Okay, that's, that's sort of helped a little bit. It's actually quite waxy, that colour. Like, a lot of it's come off on the brush. So, I'm not sure. And then it says to use the wax over the top. I'll try it. I never use a wax. I mean, I have them. I never really use it. I don't really get the point hmm. Hmm. it's 
sort of held them down. No. For me, I don't think I'm really a fan of that one. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure it is really good if you know how to do brows with a pencil. I think I'm better sticking to a powder. It's a bit more precision, precision for me. But it's not bad. It's not a bad product. I think if you're in a rush, like maybe on a train or something, then this would be perfect for you. But every day, I stick to my powder and my brush. Sorry. <laughs> uh, next up, I have. Next up, I have two concealers, and these are the No Dark Shadows. Um, I've got them in oh, Wow and Pizzazz. I'm not sure which shades sort of my colour. You can really see them. But one looks a bit more yellowy and one a bit more pink. So I think I'll try Wow, this one, which is more pink undertones, and just see how that turns out. I'm going to try the other one. So. Oh. oh, I like the packaging of it. It's very nice. Oh, it's a brush. I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be like a wand, like a doe foot wand. That's what a lot of concealers are, so. Brush. Turn. Oh, you have to turn it. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, too much. Oh, that doesn't look a bad colour. Mm. Smells a bit, a bit painty, but it seems to be blending quite well. Oh, I love how it blends out. Feels quite lightweight. Actually, I think that's a pretty good match, to be honest. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It actually blends out really nicely. Yeah, I don't think... That Dark circles look as bad either. That's kind of going to do the other eye. I quite like this brush actually. Oh, I don't think I squeezed it enough. I mean, it looks quite thick, but it actually blends out very, very nicely. I'm quite surprised by that. I quite like the colour. I think the other one will be way too dark for me though too orangey so I might give that to my sister oh, this is quite a good job of concealing as well not just the circles oh yeah I'm quite happy with that definitely helps to brighten into the eyes mm, I quite like it and that was in wow shade wow so that's getting thumbs up from me I quite like that one I kind of like how it looks, it looks quite natural, but it still conceals things that I wanted to. Like I said, the other shape is as, it looks slightly more orangey, I'm not going to get it out, but it's slightly more orangey. I'm just going to powder that down now, just stop it creasing. I'm just using my collection Sheer Loose Powder and this Technique Big Fluffy Brush, I love this brush. So all that concealer in place. I think that actually looks quite nice. nice. Concealer. I'm quite surprised. Right, onto my lips now. They've sort of stopped tingling. I sort of feel it like here and like in the corners. I don't think they actually look much bigger though. A little bit. I think they look bigger here. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, can you put lipstick over the top of it or not? I don't think it actually says. Hmm, it doesn't say if you can put anything over the top. I assume you can. It feels very strange though. It sort of feels like, sort of like pins and needles, but not as bad. On, but on your lips, it's very strange. If you've never tried a lip plumper before, I would definitely recommend this one. Because it's, it's actually quite gentle, it's not painful. But anyway, I have another product to try. And that's the No Bleeding Lips. So this is just a clear lip liner. Um, it's quite good if you've got like, 
different colours of lipstick. So you've got like a brown, you don't have a brown li liner or a purple. So that's quite good. And it, to stop the colour bleeding, if you use like a dark colour. So we'll see how that goes. Let's move them over now. Let's try this now. Oh, well that's a little unapplied. Obviously you can't see it as it is just clear. So I'll put on Collections Seduction Lip Gl Lipstick. Which is, as you can see, it's quite dark. And normally I would wear this with the liner as it does tend to bleed out quite a bit. So we'll see how that goes. I don't actually think it has bled out at all. It looks quite well. I know it's kind of a little bit wrong here, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, it seems to have gone on quite. Hmm. Quite... Yes, yeah, this seems to have actually gone quite nicely. You see that? I mean, this is more like my autumn lipstick, but I actually quite like that. I actually think my lip, my bottom lip, does look slightly bigger, but not over the top if that makes sense it looks quite natural you know what, i quite like all of these products i mean apart from the brow one that's the only one that's not really worked for me but i think it would be really good for someone else um especially if they're traveling a bit it's such an easy one as it comes with like all the extra bits you need but i quite like the, all of them so no cosmetics again a big thumbs up from me i really enjoyed all of these and I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised by that concealer, how well it actually looks. And it looks quite flawless as well. So, I'm quite surprised. I hate my brows though. Oh, look at this one. I almost don't want to include that bit in the video, but I think I'm going to have to. It's first impressions. My first impression is not brilliant for me. But the rest, I all seem to like. Uh, thank you for thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please get a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more. I'm trying to do weekly videos. If there's any suggestions of what you like, then please leave them in the comments below, or you can tweet them to me, Instagram, however you like. Um, so yeah, this is my finished look.